I think the greatest joy of everything we do is when we get to share Jesus with somebody who has never heard his name before. Years ago, when Carol and I were praying about getting married, we knew we were called to the mission field. We also knew that we were called to minister to children because they are so receptive to the gospel. But then human trafficking came up. There was a missionary that came to our church who said, you can get a, a menu on the street corner where there's little boys and little girls on this menu and you get to order a child for the night. And it doesn't matter what you do to that child. And we said, we looked at each other, we said, not while we're alive, God's a good guy. We know he's doing something. So we'll just crawl up in his heart in prayer and say, what do you need? At that time, there was no one to follow. We didn't know what human trafficking even was. There was no such thing as trauma-informed care or how to take care of these kids, but God knows all things. The way the relationship with Children's Center Friend and Zoe got started, the first thing that impacted me was going up to the Hill Tribe in Northern Thailand. There we visited several of the small slum communities that were areas where children were being trafficked. I remember Michael Hart saying, if we could bring food to these communities, it would help eliminate the risk of children that were unwanted being put on the market to be sold. It became very obvious that there could be a strong partnership between Children's Hunger Fund and Zoe, where if we could create a mercy network of churches that would support the work that Zoe was already doing and would also further enhance the mission of CHF to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to these slums and communities that had never heard the name of Jesus. What's great is the food packs are just a symbol of God's love, grace, and compassion. Many people's hearts are opened up because of the food packs, and many people have come to Christ through the Mercy Networks. There's an amazing story that uh, is connected to the Zoe kids that also is connected to CHF's growth. About 12 years ago, we had been looking for this new facility. I had shared with Mike and Carol Hart uh, and asked them to pray. It just seemed like God was closing the door. We raise our kids to be generous. For God so loved the world, He gave. He's our great example. Every Christmas, we give the kids a certain amount of money for whatever they wanted, a toys or snacks. We also give them an opportunity to give, and they wanted to give to CHF. They'd write, I want to give all of my money, 100%. Other people, $8 out of the 10. Oh, they went crazy and gave so generously. When asked a question of what was the most pivotal events that happened over 30 years, we looked back and thought purchasing headquarters was really one of the opportunities for God to expand. The very first gift that we received to uh, start the down payment for our building came from Zoe, and they sent this to us in one check. Moving allowed us to triple in size for the distribution center, so more product, serving more churches, as well as more volunteers, and the staff, we've doubled. I don't think we realize that how God used the headquarters to be able to expand our reach. Those children were the step uh, for us to be encouraged to say, well, we're not sure how this is gonna work, but God's gonna do something. We're standing in the lobby of our headquarters, uh, looking at the plaque of um, Zoe and the memorial that we made for us, as well as for our staff. Right here, there's a copy of the check. And what I love about this memorial, this is an amazing reminder that God is in the little things and the big things. He uses all of us to accomplish His kingdom purposes. Gratitude is about recognizing really His goodness and His provision for our lives. And that's what's amazing is these kids get that. You know, they have so little. And yet, you know, they're so grateful to God that they just give generously because they recognize that the Lord is the provider of everything. It was so precious to us because they know that CHF feeds the hungry kids. They know you feed hungry families and they know you tell them that Jesus loves them. That, that's just a no-brainer for them. 
I was moved to tears. It was such a demonstration of faith, of generosity, of compassion, of a heart to steward the very little that they had. They wanted to see it used for something bigger than themselves. And I don't know if I could fully put into words the impact that's had, not just then, but for us today. It made me think of Ephesians 3.20. Many times we look at a situation and we can't see a way out. We can't see a door to open. Um, but God works in ways far greater than what we could imagine. Those children challenged our trust in our Heavenly Father, who is always faithful. That will be a continual memorial for us uh, as we think back and how God used those kids. <laughs>